So what happened was... Now you see in the title down below and it says I was in CNN. If you guys didn't know, here you go. In video full of coordinated flailing, what matters is whether young people what is this? flail along with it. I got it from my daddy. I got it from my daddy. He introduced himself back in 2012, racking up millions of views. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I enjoyed it. The favorite lyric? Bitch. That's me, mom. That's me. That's me on TV, mama. Now, I know I've been on, like, uh, Korean TV shows or, like, you know, Korean articles or even, like, you know, some blog sites like Soompi. CNN is a different territory. Obviously, I gotta give thanks to Psy because I feel like Psy's Gangnam Style was the one that put my channel on the map and for reactions. I mean, how the... Who would have thought doing K-pop reactions, K-pop skits, and, like, other K-pop related videos would be on a CNN or anything, would take me this far. They don't make no sense, homie. I mean, I'm very thankful, of course. But I just didn't know how far it would take me. I mean, shoot. This thing's been taking me to CNN. It's taking me traveling. And I got my own snapback collaboration. Link in the description, boy. What happened was, so, Psy just came out, I think a day ago. Uh, Daddy, hilarious. I was in my class, my, I think my history of film class, I think. I don't know. I think it's history of film. Yes, your boy is in the last stages of uh, his degree, his second degree. This is my second degree, my second bachelor's, uh, film, and t uh, film and TV productions. Also, I just saw my Twitter blow up. Like, blow up with tweets saying, yo, Dre, you, I saw you on CNN. Dre, I saw you on TV. Dre, you on CNN? I'm like, what the hell did I do? What the hell did I do? I didn't check the video out, but everybody was messaging me. You know, people that actually care were, <laughs> were messaging me saying, yo, fam. Uh, yo, check out this. Yo, you gotta check this out. Some of them was like, yo, for Psy, you're on CNN. I said, yo, give me some proof because don't bullshit with me. Because you know how people troll on Twitter, you know, on, on the internet, saying, yo, you on CNN, bitch, psych. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I was getting hyped. I haven't felt this hyped in so long. I was like, yo, this is CNN, though. This is CNN. This ain't no damn Fox News, that's for sure. Who the f watches Fox News? Like, I was so hyped in my chair watching this movie. I think we were watching The Graduate. That was a pretty cool thing to happen. Uh, CNN, yo. Yo, shit is popping off, I think. I'm still gonna be that same K-pop fanboy that expresses his love for K-pop in different ways, whether it be skits, reactions, unboxings, or just one of these story times. And I do these story times just because I think of y'all as my family and friends. It's like I'm talking to my family and friends. Uh, and hopefully you think the same way as me telling you. I guess that's the perks of being an only child. You got no one else to talk to, except for my dog. I would have thought that five years ago, if you were to tell me this would were to happen, I wouldn't have believed it. Even my homeboy Victor, he was like a psychic or some shit. He was trying to tell me that shit. I don't know. Hey, Dre. Victor? Dre, you know in five years you're gonna get into K pop? Victor, what are you talking about? Yeah, you're gonna do videos to them. Mostly reactions, skits, parodies, covers, unboxings. You don't know about that yet, though. What the hell are you talking about, Victor, man? Shit. Ayako. Victor, you only had chicken adobo once. You can't be saying Ayako all of a sudden. You'll even appear on CNN once or twice. How the hell am I supposed to believe that? No, I'm being for real, son. Oh, that don't make sense to me, yo. Fine, don't believe me, huh? Yes, eh? Victor, shave your mustache, man. A little story time with Dre. I just want to share this moment with y'all because y'all are amazing people. Y'all put me this far and I just want to say, yo, thank you for everything. Um, who would have known a uh, K-pop fanboy? Am I just a professional fanboy or something? I don't know. What is? What am I considered? Like a YouTuber fanboy? Uh, I'm just doing what I like to do, y'all. I thank you guys for watching. Yes, your boy got a new snapback. Collaboration with an eight-man mark. And, yo, these are high-quality snapbacks, I'm not gonna lie. These are clean, I wanted them clean, and, yeah, the K-pop way. K-pop way. Go check it out. These are the same people that, um, made the Wan hat and the Korea hat, if you guys have seen them around. I think I've seen, like, Sungri, uh, wore them, or, and, uh, San Yi wore, uh, a Wan hat on Show Me the Money, not Show Me the Money, uh, or somewhere. An unpretty rap star, I think. Anyways, y'all, I'm into snapbacks. Y'all already know me. I love me some snapbacks. And, you know, the fact that I could have my own kind of, like, collaboration snapback to call for my own and for y'all to buy, I think that's awesome. And Represent JRE came out, I think that's awesome. So that's why I'm, like, very big on snapbacks and, like, and, like having my own kind of, like, K-pop way cool snapback. So, yeah. 
Link in the description, go check it out. And yeah, that was just story time with Dre. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all my sexy beautiful people. Listen to K-pop, it feels good. And remember, the only way is the K-pop way. Alright y'all, bye.